In the criminal justice system, sexually based offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. These are their stories. Warning. All displays of negativity will be deliciously repackaged and properly returned to sender. Only good vibes allowed beyond this point. Now if you're ready, come on in. What's going on, Champagne Gang, Fierce Fam, Confidant? Welcome to the chalet located in Champagne City, baby. <laughs> you see it. You see it. You're joining me, the Empress, for another episode of Sip, Savor, and Spill. So grab your glass and come on in. Over here, we give classy with a twist, huh? A little clink with chaos with a side of charm. So if you're ready to sip, savor, and spill, then come on in. And if you're a non-alcoholic kind of confidant, it's all good. Grab you a non-alcoholic bubbly and get in here. As for me, I'm sipping on Mama Wet and Chandon Imperial Rosé. You see it. You see it. <laughs> so if you're ready, take those glasses and raise them high in the air. It's time for our dose of empowerment. Y'all know how we do it over here. And if you're new, grab a glass of whatever you're drinking and raise it high. We're all about empowerment and uplifting over here. Let's get to it. Remember, the most important love you'll ever have is the one you give yourself. Embrace every part of who you are. Celebrate your uniqueness. And never forget that you are worthy of all the love and happiness this world has to offer. Self-love is the foundation for everything we do. It's the fuel that powers our dreams and the light that guides us through the darkest of time. When you truly love self, you set the standard for how others should love and treat you. So take a moment today to appreciate Appreciate your journey. Honor your strengths. Forgive your flaws. Cheers to self-love, living our best lives, and being unapologetically you. Cheers to you, Confidant, for you are worth it. So y'all listen, I don't know why I thought this show was going to be more than it actually was. <laughs> Now, I expected it to be Ratchet. I did. But I didn't expect it to be a prequel for the next episode of SVU. Because, baby, I was cringing the way they were all over this man. Cringing. Tia gave him a lap dance, rubbing on his head. Carlissa filling on his leg. I think both of them, if you know what I mean. Tokyo showing him her coochie. Child, what is going on here? But this is Zeus. So what else can we expect? You have Carlissa, who is what I call bougie hood. She the she would be the stuck up girl in the hood who thinks she's above everybody. Mm. Y'all know the one. That would be Carlissa. Then you have Tia, who's hood hood. She's the roundaway girl who's just herself, but will get with the ish if she have to. And then you have Tokyo Tony, who's whole hood. You know the one who's always showing her ass everywhere. Literally. Come on now, y'all. Y'all see the videos with her legs all open and her pants down, throwing ass. So she ho hood. So these three have come together to do a show. I thought it was just going to be funny, ratchet, and opinionated, right? But y'all, this episode was all over the place. And this is one of, one of my problems with Zoo. No real thought goes into anything that they do. It doesn't. It's just lights, camera, do something. I don't care what you do, just do something. <laughs> That's the way Zeus programming goes. There's no thought, there's no writers, there's no script, there's no production, there's no cues, there's there's nothing. Just lights, camera, fight. Lights, camera, argue. Lights, camera, do something. So it opens with them talking. And Tokyo is telling Tia that she's only relevant because she talked about Rick Ross for 15 years. Tia corrected her and said her baby is 18. She told Carlissa she only there for talking about her son or whatever. And she said she there because she was asked to be there. So it all starts off with Tokyo being Tokyo. Mouthy. Y'all know how she is. Just mouth, mouth. Tokyo don't know how to be quiet. 
So then they introduce the game, right? Now, I don't really know much about the game. I don't. I told y'all I don't follow none of these celebrities religiously. I don't. I am not that invested. So I know he rapped about it. That's it. I don't know who his BMs are. None of it. Nothing. But to me, he gives a little arrogant and narcissistic. Not overly, but you can tell it's in there. None of the questions that they asked this man were cohesive. None of them. Everybody had their own set of questions. Nobody consorted with the other to see whose questions were going to be what. Because they were all over the place. Everybody had their own track <laughs> of questioning that they wanted to lead. Carlissa seemed like she was trying to make it an interview with real quest questions. But Tokyo kept asking nothing more than questions about sex. Why would we expect anything different? Tia just wanted to talk about the beef with Rick Ross. Carlissa asking about advice for her son. Um, blue face y'all so let's go back to the introduction right because when she introduced him she said with the good big pecker <laughs> y'all there's no way one of my daughters would have took a man down and i would be having a sexual conversation with him about his pecker no way not only that but you're not gonna have a conversation with me about how you had my daughter are you sick but Tokyo wanted to talk about it. She asked him about the best ways to take a y'all. This game, she wanted to see for herself what her daughter saw. But then she kept saying she was married. So I was so confused. <laughs> What does your husband think about your behavior? Or is he one of those yes men that just sit back and let you do what you want to do and don't say nothing to you about it? Because ain't no way. Ain't no way. Y'all, she started telling the man that she would peg him, which for those of you who don't know, it's when you screw your man the way he screws you. Uh -huh. And you can tell the game ain't with it. And it was starting to get borderline. Di no, ain't no damn borderline. It was getting disrespectful. Because for me, there are certain things you don't ask about man you don't ask a man in public and you don't ask a man who's been with your daughter it was a problem for me he told her that she would get her fat ass rolled down the stairs trying to peg him <laughs> now they started trying to get on him for calling her fat but she just told this man that she would violate him are you crazy tokyo asked how much money he was spent how much money he spends on only fans he said he don't go on there he never has she asked him about a pecker pic that she was sent and proceeds to bend over and start twerking in front of him now y'all she ain't got no drawers on <laughs> i would say panties but there was nothing classy about none of this ish so draws it is he told her she over there looking like a lady gremlin now <laughs> I know some of y'all remember the movie Gremlins when y'all was a kid. I know y'all remember it. I still watch it during Christmas time. But he said she looked like the female gremlin over there trying to twerk. She asked how much he would pay to give Tia a lap dance and he told her he ain't paying. Tia would probably let him do it. And Tia gets up and gets on this man's lap and starts dancing. I'm so glad the game didn't grab her back. He didn't touch her waist, nothing. He just sat there and I'm so glad because see, stuff like this is how men get set up it is not saying they were trying to set him up i'm talking for us regular folk this is how y'all end up in mess that you shouldn't have ended up in because you want to play back when women who like to play and then the same women turn around and play the victim y'all men better be careful then she turns around and asks him how to take the perfect peck a pick again and he's telling her that he chooses based on how hard it is y'all this seemed like a pre-porn interview what do you like what's your favorite position what are your deal breaker do you go for anal do you not go for anal that's what this game it, cringy so y'all tia tells the game you done got at the daughter now it seems like you want the mama well it seemed like tokyo was throwing it at him so she turns around and says show some respect and he proceeds to tell tokyo your daughter banking basically literally <laughs> and tokyo said she get it from her mama and proceeds to open her legs again i say open her legs and show everybody her sister back tia gasping carlissa looking shocked and remember i told y'all she ain't got no drawers on and she has on a skirt so you showing a man that banged your daughter what your coochie look like come on y'all watching some of these mamas on tv makes me so appreciative 
of the mama I have. It does, because she would never, ever, never, ever, never. Carlissa telling her to put a tussy pad up, child. Y'all, they were firing questions at him like they were reporters at a briefing. Everyone trying to get their questions in. He couldn't answer one before another one being thrown at him. Half of them being thrown at the same time. And it wasn't like they were questions in the same genre. These questions was all over the place. And they talking in the midst of him trying to answer questions. What? Here's my problem with all of this. There is no way there could have been three men interviewing a woman, and all of this would have been all of this would have been allowed. No way. No damn way. There will be all sorts of cancel them quotes, people's hashtag me too's. Y'all had a damn fit when Suki cried over that boy kissing her, and you got these women grabbing this man head caressing him on his lap pulling on him tokyo showing him her coochie there's no way this would have been allowed if he was a woman so why is it okay because he's a man that's the question tokyo asked to see his d his dms and he adamantly says no they grabbing on this man to find his phone come on y'all don't we tell men that no means no this man calling for security and he finally gives it he pulls his phone now, Tia on his lap, feeling on his head, Carlisa rubbing on his leg. None of this was okay. From the questions to the actions, none of it. Y'all, we got we got such double standards. We do. It's a problem when they do it, but it's cool when we do it. If he was uncomfortable, he did a pretty good job of trying to play it off. But I was uncomfortable for him because it's not okay. I don't care who you are. That's why I have SVU in the beginning of this video because all of this was sexually based offensive. All of it because the whole thing was sexually based and. And it was offensive all of these cougars old enough to be his aunties for real all over him child it, it ain't much more i can really say about it because <laughs> that's all that happened just a bunch of talk about sex and his penis but y'all next week it looks like netta and charles are gonna be front and center and from the preview i could tell this is gonna be a show that proverbially crosses lines that probably shouldn't be crossed but check this out the bottom. Who, who taking the dick? Who taking the dick? Yeah. Baby, who do you think taking the dick? I just be wanting to know. Oh, you, you, you should know who taking the dick. No, no, no. not a question. I mean, like, yeah. it's, it's, it's not a question. You don't not, think he be wanting some warm pussy she sometimes? He, he might do. You and guess what? You got the pussy got for it. it. There is a difference between being funny and crossing a line. And I have a feeling that this show is going to two-step across every line that shouldn't be crossed. <laughs> I have a feeling just from these previews. But drop in the comments and let me know what you think. If you checked out the Auntie podcast. If you're going to be tuning in to watch. And if not, I'll probably be dropping reviews. Because <laughs> there's lessons to be learned from this bullshit. <laughs> Uh, but on the flip side, Zeus better get it together. Because Zeus, Zeus is going to be headed for some trouble. Because they tiptoe too close to too many lines that shouldn't be crossed. Certain questions shouldn't be asked. That's just my opinion. There's a difference between being a reporter and interviewer and being trifling for the sake of clicks and views. And that to me, from baddies to this, is what Zeus is constantly tiptoeing in. And if they're not careful, they're going to be in for some serious trouble. So, drop in the comments and let me know what you think about this one. Are you going to be tuning in? Consider joining the Champagne Gang and the Fizz fam. Become a confidant. Hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the show, hit the like button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when we jump into whichever sector we jump into for another show. And if you're not sure just yet, don't worry about it. We'll leave the light on for you. <laughs> We have made it over 500 subscribers on our road to 1K. So I want to thank everyone who has taken out the time to watch a video and subscribe. We are up to 2.5 watch hours of the 4K that we need to become monetized. So if my confidants can do me a favor and each of y'all either take one of my videos for an hour or two of my videos that are at least 30 minutes and just watch them, we can make Make it there. Please help your girl get monetized because I have big things in store for my confidants. So go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe. <laughs>
consider watching some videos binge watch them all y'all know they good so that we can get monetized on the channel thank you for all of your support everyone who's been with me since day one everyone who's just tuning in everyone who leaves a comment everyone who hits the like button even those of you haters who have nothing better to do than to just go through my videos and hit unlike thank you for your participation as well because little do you know it still counts as a watch so thank you once again this has been another episode of sip savor and spill until next time always remember if it doesn't cause you to elevate it's causing you to depreciate now raise those glasses clink and let's drink till we meet again ta-ta